What if you used a GPT model to predict stock prices instead of words? In this video, I will go over the modifications I made to a traditional GPT model, walk through my code, and show my results. Typically, GPT models will assign a vector to every token of text. But what if there are infinitely many possibilities? To construct tokens, you can multiply a learned vector by the change in the stock's price and apply an activation function. The classification head is also replaced with a linear layer to allow for regression labels. Now I'll showcase my machine learning code and its results. You can access and run the code yourself using Google Colab with the notebook linked in the description below. First off, it will install the necessary dependencies. Then you can customize the settings, such as the amount of days of price data to download, train on, and test on, as well as the stock you'd like to use. Here it will actually download the data. Now you can customize the model. Here I've chosen it to only have one layer, but you can change the settings however you want. You can see in the code the changes we have made to the original GPT model. Here, the token embedding layer is replaced with a linear projection and an activation function, as well as replacing the classification head with the linear layer. This next cell is the core of the notebook. It partitions the data into training and testing segments based on the lengths we said earlier. It runs the back tests on each split providing us with an equity curve for a baseline buy and hold strategy and the price GPT strategy. As you can see, the new price GPT strategy, represented in orange, outperforms the blue strategy. Even better, it does better for the amount of risk it takes, as indicated by its sharp ratio. The next cell, which is the last in the notebook, can be used to make live predictions with the most recent data. Judging by these results, the model beats a simple S&P 500 purchase, which is fantastic news. Feel free to dive deeper into the code and make your own tweaks. You'll find the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video enlightening. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I'll be creating more content like this in the future.